Hello and welcome. Today I would like to talk about the construction strategy since the introduction of local prices. Your main concern now should be make the goods consumed by the government very cheap now. And not in the market, but in the local market. You can see local prices here, see local prices. But the easy way is, for example, where do you consume goods? Your main input of consumer goods is the construction sector. So make sure that you have cheap iron in this province and then place your steel mill there and the glass production there, at least to supply with cheap glass the steel construction sectors. Another place where you're going to be spending a lot of money is in the urban centers. You can click the open and see the details. Take note that depending on the method you are going to be spending different things but usually you are going to be needing a lot of glass and this you can build in the local province of course you cannot have local coal you cannot usually have local wool try to build local wool if you can but make sure to build one glass factory in each province so you have cheap glass cheap local glass for your urban centers and that will help a lot your economy so we are going to go to the local glasses and take a look here you have a secondary method that defines the main output if you click here you're going to be producing porcelain that is usually for the rich people and you need cheap glass so usually it's a better idea to put this in this option so you have cheap glass for yourself and have a special dedicated province to produce massive amounts of porcelain and glass of just massive amounts of porcelain to provide cheap porcelain for the rich people and collect taxes but you want local prices cheap of glass for you Another place where you spend a lot of money is in administrative centers. So this can need consume paper. So it's a very good idea to build a paper factory in each province that you have a nice amount of administrative centers. And even more, if you have more administrative centers, usually you have wood in every province. You need at least a few wood production centers to help, but it's okay the main concern is that you have cheap paper where the if the paper if the wood is expensive the cost is going to be paid by the factory and not directly by yourself and of course you have universities same problem and rig wheels that means that usually you will need at least one factory that produces machinery in each province that you have rig wheels also, sometimes you will receive an alert here saying that some people is under the expected standard of thing. That means that usually there is very poor people living in that province. And that means that you need farms and cheap clothing there. So try to build a clothing factory in every province since this is a consumer good that is used everywhere so you're usually going to be needing one by province at least and then concentrate them in there for example let's take a look since here you don't have the earnings are the best so we are going to be building one there one here and let's say that here you receive an alert that the people is under the expected standard of living so change the production me method to only cheap clothing so you lower the price there for the poor people and then you have a main production center in an important province that produce both for rich in, in, every, in all the country and for poor too also always before building an extra construction and an extra building in a province check that the province is at full capacity this is going to be at full capacity very soon but sometimes it says here that the province is going to be giving you a lot of income but then you check the province and the popular the working force is half capacity that means that there is a problem there and you shouldn't be being built you shouldn't build there also the same way take note of the peasants the peasants are people that working in subsistence farms if you don't have peasants avoid building there and usually before swapping railways 
try to build every province with that you have uh, empty infra for example this province this province why because building railways is very expensive you're not going to be earning money for a while and you're going to be investing and the idea is that you build all your provinces to the top of its empty infra and just then swap to railways also before building take note if you are playing in big countries like china or japan to take a look at this number taxing capacity minus 58 tax capacity tax collection this is because you have a lot of population there and the tax collection is not very efficient so you should be checking let's take a look at this one this one has full capacity tax collection so if you have peasants here try to build the buildings first in the small province and then go to the province that you have less efficient tax collection also there are some buildings that, that are not consumer goods like explosives and like clothing that you will close in every province consumer goods and sorry explosives are going to be built in maybe one in province that you have mines but you should build a big amount of explosives and fertilizers in the province that you have the input of this raw resource and let me show you here sulfur because it's the main input of that products so take a look at the province where you have sulfur and build the things there so you you need to, to maintain a chain also um, lead is used for some factories sulfur for other factories wood for paper factories so try to keep the chain it's very important that you keep the change to make things efficient don't your mill your your massive steel mills in place where you do not have your iron mines and so so on and so forth for example glass you want to build glass in every province with using the thin simple method but if in some province you want to build porcelain and try to find a province that you have cheap wood and lead and that's all on my side I hope you have a great day and if you have another idea please leave it down below have a great day bye bye